Hey everyone! So it's night time na. It's around uh, 8 o'clock p.m. And I'm gonna be showing you guys how I water my plants ngayong summer. Especially uh, for the plant box uh, na papakita ko sa inyo kung paano ako mag-host ng um, plants natin. So um, since tonight, napansin ko, no, again, first I checked kung yung leaves nila ay malambot na. Ayan, no, nag-wrinkle na siya. So, pwede nang, pwede nang silang tubigan. I also noticed that they have drastically lost a lot of plumpness. <laughs> if that is a term. Um, mapapansin nyo yan sa mga halaman nyo, no? Or, you will feel that when you touch them, they're very soft and pliable. So, yung leaves, no? Nagagalaw nyo ng ganyan like that. So, that is a surefire uh, indication that they are already thir very thirsty. And then I will also check if there are plants that will be showing or or are showing signs of sunburn. Kasi kapag na sunburn ang plants, hindi ko sila tutubigan. Because sunburn plants are generally or technically weaker during this uh, time, no? So if they're sunburned, they are weak and they might not be able to, or they might go into forest dormancy or will stop drinking from their roots. So, once we have checked them all, um, then we can start uh, watering our plants ng full soaking. So, ito, hindi ko sila tinabigan. I did not water them for a good one week and a half. So, let's start with this one. Ayan, so I'm using my shower setting here, there. So, I can just shower. Ayan, there. Full shower na yan. Until the water drips from the bottom of the pot. Okay, here's the side. Yeah, good soak. Full soak na siya. And then I'll just bring it near para hindi masyado magkalat dito sa greenhouse. No? And lahat sila matubigan. Ayan, kasi uhaw na uhaw na uhaw yan sigurado. But not too near kasi minsan natatamaan yung mga may farina, di ba? So, I'm just, um, I just need to be a little bit aware. Ayan. And then the rest, just water. Medyo mainit pa since it's just 8 o'clock. Pero, you know, kakayanin na nila itong ganitong temperature. And then, tatapatan ko sila ng fan the entire night actually. So, I will not be turning off the fan tonight since they are newly watered Ayan. and then there here and then kapag ganito parang si white one ano, wala kang visible na um, na soil I just lift it up a little and then I change my setting to full and then I'll just lift up the plant and then squeeze a little. Yeah, there we go. Hangga sa ma feel ko na masok na yung plant. There, you can see now. There, the water. And then mag drip down na siya. Okay na yan. So, same with this one. Same with this one. It's cream tea. I try to water the entire pot and then what will happen with the excess water it will just drip down here's the turf okay lang yan I don't mind I don't mind that at all importante sa akin is that syempre sila fully watered and then balik ako shower setting yeah shower shower para hindi ganun ko harsh sa plant and then si Mendoza and si Blue Cloud.
regular watering. Galasal kasi when we water it, diba? Um, medyo controlled pa yung watering natin sa kanila. But this time, you can give them a full soak. So, this is how I water them. Siyempre, hindi ko nahihintay mag-drip down yung water niya, diba? Kasi nga, sobrang lalim nito. So, give or take 1 to 3 seconds per plant would be enough. And then, confident na naman ako sa kanya kasi nakita ko na may roots na siya and nag umiinom na siya sa roots niya. So, it started drinking from the roots already. So, I don't have any problems whatsoever with watering them, giving them a full soak. And here... Ay! Smagi. Here. Here. And here. May bashful na laging uhaw. Ayan. Si Kili. Yeah. Darly sunshine lang naman yan eh. <laughs> and then there was a banana pretty let me show you guys what this one this one is one month old Ayan. and you can already see no that there are roots here and ayan, oh, here there you can see no there are tiny roots here already sa bandang bottom part and you can see how deep the pot is but um, this one has not received um, full uh, watering yet. You can see now the active roots are there. It's white. Ayan, no? look. See, see that? So now I can tr I can say na pwede na siyang full water. So first time niya magku full water today after one month. But you can see na hindi pa siya aggressively na you can really say na oy established na yan. Pwede nang tubigan ng full water. Pero kailangan maingat pa rin kasi you can see hindi pa naman siya sobrang daming roots no and this is my alnos mix compost uh, alnos compost uh, mix makikita mo mataas ang kanyang organic com co content co considering sa sobrang sa, sa, sa richness ng soil niya dapat marami na tong ugat pero since yun nga um he, you know succulents they grow they don't grow roots that fast talaga na malalaki matataba and these little ones, these tiny roots are very, still very sensitive. Yeah, so we still have to be careful with watering them. That's why I do not consider one month old plants to be established. When we water, even if we just use a shower, um, a shower setting here, like that, yeah, like we will do a full soak. Yeah, there you can see how long it will take for the water to go down to the bottom. Kapag ano ha, this is again yung ating alnos, um, alnos na ano, mix. You can see may water retention siya dito, no? So technically, hindi siya ganun kagandang uh, uh, soil mix compared to like ginagamit ko sa cultured soil, no? Na talagang pag tinaniman mo, uh, nilagyan mo ng uh, lupa, ng cultured soil, talagang labas agad yung tubig. Ito, it will take a while before the... The, get, the pot gets uh, fully drenched. Ayan. Pero lumalabas pa rin naman sa ilalim ng tubig niya. So, it's still a good one, but it's not as good as, you know, it's not as fast uh, fast draining as it should be. For me, ah. But again, for graptopetalums, they're more, oh, they're more forgiving with this type of soil. Kasi gusto talaga nila yung mga ma, matatabang lupa. So, that's why okay sa kanila yung ganito. Let's go back. Ito, water tayo ulit dito. Kay uh, banana. There. Let's do a full soak. Konti lang ng lupa dito eh. Paka iripat ko to sa mas magandang paso. Pero hindi na ngayon kasi bitin na oras. So we will just have to water her more frequently. Ayan. Ayan. Here's the bottom ng pot. I mean the other plant box. We will just again water uh, water we will fully water her yung tipong happiness water 
the toad water. Yeah. Even the yung aking pink butterfly, no, really pretty ngayon, na. Yeah, papakita ng gila siya dyan. And it's not etiolated. So again, thanks to Mars Hydro for our wonderful um, grow light. Uh, sobrang uh, sulit. Sobrang ganda. Yan. Yeah. Sangi. Eh, pumayat si Sangi. Kawawa naman. You can see Lingwas is doing really well. Ang dami ng new leaves, no? And very compact, a kanyang form. And then, Opuntia. There we go. This would be our house, aloes, and gymnos, and yeah, gymnos. Dito pero pas gilid. And then alos. Saan the plant? Pag niyan. And then a little lang dito kay Sip Sicilis kasi I checked the roots kanina. Hindi pa masyado ganun ka established. And then a little bit of Mary. Pero ito si Julius okay na to. <coughs> kasi naka-own ano naman siya. Own soil siya. And to champagne. I get so caught up in the middle, thinking of drowning in those blue eyes. I'm losing sight because I am falling. I'm so deep down, deep down. And it's not a lie that I die. I can't hide. So hopefully the fan will help them not go dormant or you know um, have a hard time um, and make them comfortable at least. So again that's it for tonight and I hope you enjoyed watching um, and I hope you you know you get the courage to water your plants this summer season. Wag natin katakutan masyado yung tubig. Um, you know, just make sure that they're really, really dry and really, really thirsty when you water them so that they won't, um, baka magkaroon ng root rot, no? So, yep, that's it, guys. And I, I'll see you guys on the next video. So, always, always choose to be kind, everyone. Bye! Your heart is not a lie. I will put out a lot of fire. We stumble and fall.